102.7 KISS FM. If you want to hear Ryan's Roses right now, don't get out of the car. This is it. This is the Ryan's Roses moment. So the email came in, and all we're trying to do is a public service. Because if you think someone's cheating on you, and you have no way of finding out, leave it to us. We'll call on the air, give you the peace of mind, and then, you know, see what happens. So this one is Dear Ryan Sisney Tanya. My husband's been acting strange for a month. I found a photo in his camera roll of the Santa Monica Pier at sunset, taken when he was supposed to be at work. Mm -hmm. And he's been going to the gym constantly, sometimes twice a day. Oh, two a days. Once at 11 at night. That's late. It's committed, but for what reason? Right. Caroline, good morning. Good morning. So what else can you tell us? You saw the photo. You told me he's going to the gym late at night. You think he's seeing this other woman at night? Yeah, I mean, when I found that photo, I asked him about it because when I put it all together, he told me he was working late that night. But suddenly he's at the Santa Monica Pier. I mean, we live in Glendale. He works in Pasadena. Oh, he said he didn't take that photo, that it was sent to him by a friend, but I checked the data on the photo, and it was taken by his phone. Yeah, because when you get a picture from a friend, it says in the little corner, from Tanya, from sure Ryan. it does. Really? Yeah, yeah, the location is there and everything. I mean, so that was a lie. And, like, he's constantly going to the gym. The last straw for me was two nights ago. He left at 11 p.m. to go to the gym. Yeah. What was he wearing? He'd, al- he'd already been to the gym that day. So, wearing, like, that's when I clothes? asked him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gym clothes on. Did he have a bag? Yeah. What was His in the gym bag? bag? Or was it a change of clothes? I hope not. Why don't you guys share a location? <sighs> yeah, I'm with you. Oh, what? <sighs> I mean, have you asked him? Well, I asked him that night um, what was going on, and he was like, well, you got a problem with me working out. Lots of people work out twice a day. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, let's call him. Snarky. Let's call him next here. It's Ryan's Roses, The Call. Next, 102.7, KISS FM. This is the Ryan's Roses Call. To Caroline's husband, who's been acting strange, going to the gym a couple times, even late night going to the gym. She thinks there's another woman. And I'm not so sure she's wrong. Caroline? Yes. Do you have any idea who this other woman could be? Yes. Um, but I'd rather not say her name because oh. I don't want to will it into existence. And if it's not true, I don't want to say her name on the radio if she's innocent. Mm-hmm. All right, then I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your husband's name. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call. We're going to do it right now. Okay. Be very quiet. Okay. Let's see what we can find out who he sends the roses to. We'll ask him a few more questions, and then we will jump in, and we will really get into it with him. So be very quiet, Caroline. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Eric, please? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm calling from the Gorgeous Garden in Glendale. How are you doing this morning? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Great. We're actually new to the area. We're on brand near the Americana, um, and we're offering a promotion today. It's a free promotion. Yeah, it's a dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. Just trying to promote our business. Absolutely free. Anybody you'd want to send some flowers to? Wow. Hello? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I ask you a question? You want to ask me a question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do when you have a wife who doesn't trust you? Excuse me? 
Yeah, what do you do? Because apparently my wife has put me on Ryan's Roses, even though I am definitely not cheating. So what would you do if you were me? Why are you giving her that impression? Uh, I'm not giving her that impression. This is something that she thinks is happening. So if you were me and I were you, what would you do in this situation? Well, you're you and I'm me. Hi, and I'm Sissy. Me. Right. And I'm, I'm Ryan, and yeah. you are on Ryan's Roses. And so you're Eric. I'm Ryan. Tanya's Tanya. Mm-hmm. Your wife doesn't trust you. She thinks you're out at night with another woman. A change in your whole demeanor has been for a whole month. And so yeah, no, why, I, why should she not think this? Look, I get all that stuff, Ryan, but I'm not. I'm not cheating. I'm what? not doing anything. I mean, What's Eric, up with the picture on the Santa Monica Pier? Okay, yeah. so you told her you were going to be at work, and then you took a picture on the Santa Monica Pier. Look, I did not take that picture. A buddy of mine, Oscar, sent it to me. Then it should say Oscar in the corner of the picture, and it does not. What are you talking about in the corner of the picture? When you send a picture, it tells you who it came from. Tanya, Sierra, Michaela sent this picture in the corner. Well, I I don't know. I don't know what that means or how to look at that. Does Oscar exist? Was Oscar really with you? Yes, of course. Yes. Why are you going to the gym so much? I go to the gym for the same reason everybody else goes to the you, gym, to get in shape. You don't have to yell at me. I'm just asking for your mm-hmm. wife. No, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. You're right. It's not your fault. I just This is very frustrating, and I'm right, doing so, this because... Yeah. Hey, Caroline, why don't you explain to your husband why you think he's cheating? I mean... Eric, what is going on? You're literally at the gym all the time. It doesn't look like you've been working out. and <laughs> So you're not getting any results. I can't believe this. There's nothing going on. I go to the uh, – yes, the, I am going to the gym a lot, and maybe it's not looking like it's supposed to, right? but these things take time. But your wife doesn't have security in your relationship. I think yeah, we're there. That's where, where is we the are. love? Okay, like I didn't want to do this, but – I'm going to swing by Lori's house today. What are you talking? No. Who's Lori? There, look, there's no need for any of, no, there's no need to bring her into any Lori, of Lori, Lori is his ex-wife's best friend, or at least she was until his ex-wife caught them together. I mean, she was a real problem when we were first together. And then after our daughter was born, she backed off. But so you should go spend some time with her. I think he's seeing her behind my back. Why don't you go ask I, find Lori ask him? He's very quick to be defensive. I'm not seeing Lori. I, yes, because our personal life is on the radio. You know, I'm not trying to be rude, but this is kind of nuts, don't you think? Yeah, I that's know. why we that's why we are calling. We think it's just crazy. Yes. And you know, it's one of the reasons we don't do this every day. It's too crazy. So Eric, <laughs> if if you're telling the truth, great. Caroline, if you don't believe him, go see this Lori. Okay, yeah, I will. Like when was the last time you talked to her? I, I, for the last time, I am not seeing Lori. All right. You guys get to the bottom of this, but it doesn't all totally add up here. So good luck. What do you think? There's no trust. He's right about that. But I don't think that Caroline is getting there just out of nowhere. I wouldn't trust that guy either. Why? Yeah. You don't vibes. Trust, you don't trust a lot of the guys that call. Vibes don't lie. Yeah, so Tanya made it Ryan's Roses, and Tanya said, I wouldn't trust that guy. He knew he was on Roses. He said, what would you do, Sissini, if your wife didn't trust you and she put you on Ryan's Roses? I mean, the guy knew it. Yeah, he knew it was us. It happens so, from time to time. He didn't really admit to cheating. I mean, I also kind of want to be like, thanks for listening, but yeah, not the right time. It's not the right moment. Not no, the right no, no, moment. no. But... His wife thinks that he's seeing his ex, Lori, and his wife has a connection with Lori, and his wife's going to find out from Lori. No, no, no. Not the ex, Lori. The ex's best friend that he oh, cheated no. That he cheated with, that broke up that marriage or relationship or whatever it was oh. before. So, yes, it is the, the, wife's, the ex-wife's best friend, Lori, which kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Well, it makes me not like the guy.
Obviously, I wouldn't trust him to feed my dog. Right. Like, so I think the thing with Caroline is that cheated once, he's going to do it again. Like, cheaters never change. Is that the case here? It sounds like it, but the fact that he did it with her best friend. Mm-hmm. Shady.com. Shady. All right. 800 1027 at Kiss FM. Marlene in Canoga Park, what do you think? As soon as she said that he had cheated on the first wife, I was like, you can't trust this guy. I mean, mm-hmm. once a cheater, always a cheater. Like, uh, come on. It's like, sadly once true. a cheater, always a cheater. Is that yeah. true? She's, Is that true? Can I mean, he cheat and not cheat again? I don't think that it's once a cheater, always a cheater. I think when you're a cheater, it says a lot about your character. And if your character allows you to do it once, it's going to allow you to do it and twice. And if you don't and three cheat, then you're going to be like a liar. Like there's just other ways to, of cheating in life, I think, especially in a relationship. And then the trust is broken. But that's the thing is she's never going to trust him because no. she knows that he cheated once before. Right. So and so what's the point of even staying together? Yes. She's always going to be looking over her shoulder. Eggs. You took the mm-hmm. words right it. out of my mouth. They can end yep. it now. And They're going to have big problems. Yeah. It's bad. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Love the show. Thank, okay, thank, thanks, thank Marlene. You. Appreciate that. And cheating on your wife with her best friend is what happened. And that's next level. Next oh, level. Next that's scandal. It's so, it's so Tommy scandal. It's so <laughs> scandal. Were they really best friends, though? Ariana they, and are, Raquel. Yes, yeah, like, Rachel like, and Raquel. was always at their house and like spent the night in the guest room and like all of this. Mm-hmm. Very bad. Yeah, Tonya, I think she knows. I think she's way into it. Well, I know, but I just feel like they were like friends because of the show, not like right. real friends.